And he says, Mr. Munger and Mr. Buffett, after a 15-year period of market underperformance, you're cautious about predicting Berkshire being able to outperform the market in the future. Given this, what do you see as the arguments for longtime shareholders to continue holding their stock versus diversifying their risk across an index? Charlie, you want to answer that? Well, sure. Well, I personally prefer holding Berkshire to holding the market. So because I'm quite comfortable holding Berkshire. I, I think our businesses are better than the average in the market. Is it because you don't think the market values it fairly? Well, these are just accidents of history and things are fluctuating at all times. But in, on a composite basis, I'd, I'd bet on Berkshire over the market. And that's assuming we're all dead. Hey, I recommend I, I recommend the S&P 500 index fund and have for uh, a long, long time to people. And uh, I've never recommended Berkshire to anybody uh, because I... I don't want people to buy it because they think I'm <laughs> tipping them into some side. Never. I mean, no matter what I was selling for. And, uh, uh, and you know, I, I've made it public. I, you know, on, on my death, there's a, there's a fund for my uh, then-widow, then and 90% uh, will go into an S&P 500 index fund and 10% of Treasury bills. And, uh, on the other hand, I'm very happy having my future contributions to group of charities that'll be spread over 12 years or so after my death uh, to stay in Berkshire. I think the odds are uh, Berkshire, Berkshire, Berkshire is, um, yeah, I, I like it, but I'm not, uh, I, do, I do not think uh, the average person can pick stocks. We happen to have a large group of people that didn't pick stocks, but they picked Charlie and me to manage money for them 50 or 60 years ago. And, and uh, uh, so we have a very unusual group of shareholders, I think, who look at Berkshire as a lifetime savings vehicle and uh, one they don't have to think about and uh, uh, one that they'll look, you know, if they don't look at it again for 10 or 20 years, that that uh, will have taken care of the money reasonably well. But that I wouldn't argue that the S&P 500 over time, I would... I, I perfect. I, I like Berkshire, but I, uh, uh, I I think that the a person who doesn't know anything about stocks uh, at all and doesn't have any special feelings about Berkshire, I think they ought to they ought to buy the S and P 500 index. As a follow up to that, Gerald Silver writes in. He says the trustees of your estate to. Um, I believe you've directed the trustees of your estate to invest substantial assets into the index fund. Isn't that a vote of no confidence to your managers? Well, no, it, it, because it, it, we're talking about way less than 1% of my estate. <laughs> and uh, one thing I'm going to do, incidentally, I, I mean, all rich people get advised by their lawyers, set up trusts so that nobody can see your will and all that sort of thing. My will is going to be public record. And you can, you'll be able to check at some point when I'm telling you the truth about what is going to get done. But 99.7% uh, roughly uh, of my estate uh, will either go to philanthropies or to the federal government. And and uh, uh, before it does it, I think I think Berkshire is a very, hap a very good thing to hold. But for a given individual, particularly my wife, I just think that, that, that having a, a tiny fraction, that, which is all it takes for her to do very well for the rest of her life, uh, I just, I think that the best thing to do is buy by 90% in an, in an S&P 500 index fund. Now, the index fund people naturally have started over the time. They they market more more and more products that are that go to other in, indices and everything. So they're really starting to say to the to the American public, they're saying, well, you can pick what continent to invest in, or you can pick what industry, and we'll sell you something for that. And when they just have gotten through telling them, you know, you really don't know anything about stocks, <laughs> just buy the whole index. So. Uh, uh, so I named the 500 index as one, uh, but it's it's a tiny portion, but it'll be it'll be her livelihood, and she'll have all the money she needs, and way beyond it, and that's that. And but the I don't I don't mind having the 99.7 percent large portion of it, if, if, assuming that the law is the same as now, 
go to philanthropy to be uh, uh, to be kept in Berkshire until they finally are disposed of.